So if I vacuum all the air out of the chamber, what do you think will happen to the air that's in the container versus the air that's in the cup? I just want to do a quick little experiment to show atmospheric pressure at play. A lot of people cannot wrap their heads that the atmosphere actually presses down on everything from all directions. So I have my vacuum chamber here. Inside that vacuum chamber, I have a glass that is upside down. See the water better. So right now, there's no water inside the glass. The same 14.4 PSI of atmospheric pressure that's around us is also trapped inside the cup. When I turn the cup upside down and lower it into the water, Inside that cup is the same 14.4 PSI. As I lower the cup into the water, the weight of the cup exceeds the amount of water that it's displacing, so the cup's not floating. You can do this yourself by taking a cup upside down and pushing it down in a sink full of water or in a bathtub, and you can see no water is getting up inside the cup. I've got it all hooked up here now. Let's show you what happens. So as we let the air back in, the air that was inside the cup was the greater pressure. So it pushed itself out through the water. So now what has happened is the 14.4 PSI has pushed down onto the water and pushed the water up into the cup until it reaches an equilibrium. So that amount of air that's left in the cup is now at 14.4 PSI, as well as the air pushing down on the water here at the bottom. So as the air pressure reduces around that water that's pushing down in the water, the air inside the cup will now overpower it and push the water back down. So now that little bit of air that's left in the top is at 14.4 PSI because the air pushing down is keeping the water in the cup. So let's add some more water. Oops, splashing dye all over. So again, the air left in the top of the glass is at 14.4 PSI. The rest of the air in the container is at 14.4 PSI. We have the lid on it just to separate it from the atmosphere around us. Now what happens if I reverse and actually put a little bit of pressure into the container? As I reduce the pressure in the jar, that little bit of air inside that jar is enough to expand to push out the water that's in the jar. In the glass, rather. Now the common mistake here is everyone thinks it's the vacuum inside the cup that is sucking the water back in. It's merely just the pressure differential. The, the atmospheric pressure is pushing the water down. That pressure is greater than the pressure inside the cup, so it's going to push the water up into the cup. It's the same principle as to why straws work. We reduce the air pressure in the straw, the liquid comes up because the atmospheric pressure is pushing our drink down, pushing it up the straw. And all we have to do is create that little bit of pressure differential. Hopefully you guys found that entertaining and or educational. If you guys have a particular video you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. We'll see if we can do it.